Welcome back to The Gripping Plots. What are some action movies available on Netflix? You will discover their names in this video. We came with top 21 best action movies on Netflix. So, enjoy the video. Meet you at the other side of the intro. Wait, you know what? We make video with a lot of effort, watching, scripting, video, editing, upload. You can pay to this effort with just a single like. Imagine if only 300 viewers watch this video and each of you like this video. It can reach to the top of YouTube search and help to grow this channel. Our number 21 countdown is Six Underground. This is an action-packed thriller film directed by Michael Bay, released in 2019. Produced by Netflix, the movie features an ensemble cast led by Ryan Reynolds, Melanie Loron, Corey Hawkins, Audria Arjona, Manuel Garcia Rulfo, Ben Hardy, and Dave Franco. The plot revolves around a group of skilled individuals who fake their own deaths to form an elite vigilante squad known as Ghost Team. Led by a charismatic billionaire named One, the team consists of a diverse group of specialists, including a former CIA operative, a hitman, a parkour expert, a doctor, and a tech genius. Our number 20 countdown is how it's end. This is a thriller and adventure movie. The story starts with a mysterious disaster that happens across the country. Will, the main guy, is in Seattle, and his girlfriend is in Chicago. He decides to go on a road trip to find her. Will's future father-in-law, Tom, joins him on this journey. They face a lot of challenges on the road, like bad guys, car problems, and even natural disasters. The movie keeps you guessing about what caused all the chaos and if they'll make it to Chicago. Our number 19 countdown is 60 Minutes. It is a German action drama film with a title that cleverly reflects the central conflict. The story revolves around Octavio, a talented MMA fighter facing a critical fight. However, a more important battle awaits him, getting to his daughter's birthday party within 60 minutes, or he risks losing custody. Torn between his career and fatherly duty, Octavio makes a tough choice. He forfeits the fight to reach his daughter. This impulsive act throws him into a dangerous situation. Our number 18 countdown is The Wages Affair. It's a new version of an old French movie from 1953. There's a big fire at an oil well, and it's getting close to a refugee camp. The only way to stop it is by blowing it up with a super dangerous explosive called nitroglycerin. So, this group of people gets asked to take this explosive stuff through a super dangerous desert to the fire. They have to drive really fast and be really careful because the explosive can blow up easily. They've got just 24 hours to do it, and they'll get paid a lot of money if they succeed. The movie is full of suspense and action. Our number 17 countdown is Ballerina. It is a South Korean action thriller that's all about revenge and action. The main character, OK Ju, used to be a bodyguard. She's really sad because she lost her best friend, and that makes her want to get revenge. So, Okeju goes on a mission to make her friend's last wish come true by getting revenge on the people who did her wrong. Along the way, she faces a lot of challenges and has to use her skills to fight and survive. Our number 16 countdown is Interceptor. It is a tense action movie where the U.S. faces a big threat. Terrorists attack Fort Greeley in Alaska and steal 16 nuclear warheads from Russia. U.S. Army Captain J.J. Collins is moved to a remote Pacific site after reporting misconduct by her boss. At the new site, Collins works with Corporal Beaver Baker and Corporal Rahul Shah. Terrorists, led by Kessel, attack the base, killing most people there. Collins, Shah, and Baker fight back. But Baker turns out to be working with the terrorists for money and hates foreigners. The terrorists want to launch the nukes and attack U.S. cities. They try to take over the base, but Collins fights hard to stop them. Shaw sacrifices himself to save the day, but Baker kills him. Our number 15 countdown is Blood and Gold. This is a German action war movie that takes place during the end of World War II. The story is really intense and has two main characters with different backgrounds. 
Heinrich is a German soldier who left the army to find his daughter who's missing. On the other side, we have Elsa, a brave farmer. Her village has a secret. There's a hidden stash of gold that the Nazis took from Jewish people. When some bad SS troops come to the village looking for the gold, they capture Heinrich. Our number 14 countdown is The Harder They Fall. This is a stylish and action-packed Western film directed by James Samuel, released in 2021. This Netflix original movie boasts an ensemble cast featuring Idris Elba, Jonathan Majors, Regina King. Set in the American West during the late 19th century, The Harder They Fall follows the story of outlaw Nat Love, who seeks revenge against Rufus Buck, the ruthless leader of a gang responsible for murdering his parents. As Nat assembles a team of fellow outlaws, including stagecoach robber Bill Pickett and sharpshooter Jim Beckworth, tensions rise and old rivalries ignite. Our number 13 countdown is Triple Frontier. This is a gripping action thriller film directed by J.C. Shander, released in 2019. The movie features an ensemble cast including Ben Affleck, Oscar Isaac. Set in the rugged landscapes of South America, Triple Frontier follows a group of former Special Forces operatives who reunite for a high-stakes heist. Struggling to adapt to civilian life and facing financial difficulties, the team comes together to execute a daring plan to steal millions of dollars from a notorious drug lord. Our number 12 countdown is Gunpowder Milkshake. This is an action-packed thriller film directed by Navit Papachato, released in 2021. The story follows Sam, played by Karen Gillan, a skilled assassin who works for a secretive organization known as The Firm. When a mission goes awry, Sam finds herself on the run from both her employers and a ruthless crime syndicate, all while trying to protect an innocent girl named Emily. Our number 11 countdown is Doom. This is a science fiction epic directed by Dennis Villeneuve, released in 2021. Set in a distant future where noble families control various planets in a feudal interstellar society, Dune follows the story of Paul Atreides, played by Timothy Chalamet, the scion of House Atreides. When his family is given control of the desert planet Arrakis, the only source of a valuable substance called spice, Paul finds himself thrust into a dangerous political and environmental struggle. Our number 10 countdown is The Night Comes For Us. This is an Indonesian action thriller film directed by Timo Jajanto, released in 2018. The movie gained widespread acclaim for its intense action sequences, gritty realism, and compelling storyline. It features an ensemble cast of talented Indonesian actors, including Joe Taslim, Iko Uwais, Julia Stell, and Sunny Peng. Set in the criminal underworld of Jakarta, the film follows the story of Ido, a former triad enforcer who decides to leave his life of violence behind after a brutal massacre. Our number nine countdown is Bullet Train. It revolves around a group of assassins with conflicting agendas who board a high-speed train in Tokyo. Each passenger has their own mission, leading to a tense and suspenseful journey filled with twists, turns, and unexpected alliances. Brad Pitt stars as one of the assassins, portraying a mysterious and skilled hitman known only as Ladybug. His character becomes embroiled in a series of deadly encounters as he navigates the train's corridors, all while facing threats from both rival killers and law enforcement. Our number eight countdown is The Equalizer Franchise. This is a gripping action thriller film directed by Antoine Fuqua, released in 2014. Starring Denzel Washington in the lead role, it's a modern-day interpretation of the 1980s television series of the same name. The movie follows the story of Robert McCall, a retired black ops operative who seeks redemption by using his lethal skills to help those in need. Set in Boston, McCall leads a seemingly ordinary life working at a hardware store, but his past haunts him. When he befriends a young prostitute named Terry who is brutally beaten by her pimp, McCall decides to take justice into his own hands. What starts as a personal mission soon spirals into a full-blown war against the Russian mafia, led by a menacing villain named Teddy. 
Our number 7 countdown is The Gray Man. This is directed by the Russo brothers, who've done some awesome movies like Avengers, Endgame. The story is full of suspense, action, and twists. The movie is based on a novel and is about a former CIA operative named Court Gentry, played by Ryan Gosling. He's a skilled assassin who becomes the target of a dangerous former colleague, played by Chris Evans. So, it's like a cat and mouse game where both are super smart and skilled. Our number six countdown is Heart of Stone. This is a spy action thriller that's really exciting. The main character, Rachel Stone, is played by Gal Gadot. She's a super skilled spy working for Charter, a big organization that helps keep peace around the world. Rachel's job is super important. She's in charge of protecting something really valuable and risky called the heart. At the start of the movie, Rachel is pretending to be a tech person for MI6, another spy group. This helps her get close to the bad guys and keep an eye on things. But then, something really bad happens. A hacker breaks into Charter's system and tries to steal the heart. This turns Rachel's world upside down, and she has to act fast to stop the hacker and protect the heart. Our number 5 countdown is RRR. The movie is set in the 1920s and is a fictional take on real-life freedom fighters from India's history. It tells the story of two fictional heroes, Kamaram Bhim and Alyuri Sitra Raju, who fight against the British Raj and Nizam of Hyderabad. One of the highlights of RRR is its spectacular visuals and grand sets. The movie looks amazing with its vibrant colors, detailed costumes, and epic landscapes. It's a visual treat for sure! Our number four countdown is The Old Guard. This is a really cool action movie that came out in 2020. The story is about a group of immortal warriors who've been around for centuries. They're led by Andy, played by Charlize Theron, who's super tough and has been alive for a really long time. The action in The Old Guard is awesome. There are gunfights, sword fights, and hand-to-hand -hand combat scenes that are super well done. Charlize Theron does a great job kicking butt as Andy, and the rest of the cast is really good too. Our number three countdown is The Raid and The Raid Redemption. This is a super exciting action movie that comes from Indonesia. The story is pretty straightforward, but packed with action. It's about a SWAT team that goes into a really dangerous building to capture a crime lord. As soon as they enter the building, things go crazy. They find out that the whole place is filled with bad guys who are ready to fight. The SWAT team has to fight their way up floor by floor, facing lots of obstacles and bad guys who want to stop them. Our number two countdown is John Wick Franchise. This is an action-packed movie series that people really love. The main character, John Wick, is played by Keanu Reeves. He's a retired hitman who gets pulled back into the world of assassins after some bad guys mess with him. As the movies go on, we learn more about John Wick's past and the secret world of assassins he used to be part of. There's also a cool hotel called The Continental where assassins hang out, follow rules, and get special services. Our number one countdown is Extraction Franchise. This is an action-packed movie that came out in 2020. The main star is Chris Hemsworth, who plays Tyler Rake, a tough guy with a troubled past. The story kicks off when Tyler is hired to rescue the kidnapped son of an international crime lord. The movie takes us on a wild ride through the streets of Dhaka, Bangladesh. There's lots of intense action, like car chases, gunfights, and hand-to-hand -hand combat. Tyler has to fight off bad guys who are trying to stop him and save the boy. The film got a lot of attention for its impressive action scenes and stunts. Some people really loved it for that, while others thought it was a bit too much action and not enough story.